Monday with Chris Father Gil Brown from YouTube's That's Rank. You are an Ottawa-based food reviewer with uh, an interesting take on everything. You, you typically come at it as, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I'm going to try that. <laughs> it's usually that's usually the angle that i come with and i've definitely tried a few bizarre things on my channel the last couple of days but today i want to focus on something else it is easter monday after yeah. all john so yeah. happy easter to you and to you thank you very much what did you eat on i presume easter sunday uh easter sunday dinner was a leftover turkey breast for me in the air fryer and for my honey she had a leftover turkey leg in the air fryer with you know some potatoes and of course a lot of veggies all the traditional holiday yeah. stuff we did uh, we did prime rib over here but turkey was definitely an option that we thought about but uh yeah you, you know how it goes you you got so many options at your disposal and uh when prime ribs on sale that's what i like to jump on sure at this time of the year yep but um, so that's that's what we're doing up here in Canada. You know, turkey, ham, some people do rabbit, whatever, but it is a worldwide celebration. And every country has its own customs when it comes to Easter. Um, so it's a Christian holiday, Christianity celebrated all over the entire world. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to take a look at what some of those countries are doing with you today, John. Sure. Let me start with Australia. So in Australia, the kids don't get chocolate rabbits, but they do get chocolate bilbies so bilbies are dessert dwelling bandicoots that are also endangered so eating any variety even chocolate probably isn't doing them any favors they do need all the numbers they can get but chocolate <laughs> bilbies are what goes down in australia okay well chocolate is chocolate i don't care if it's a bilby or a bunny it's going down the hatch right i'm i'm with you i, yeah. I don't yeah i don't care what kind of a hat Call it's what you it. want it's chocolate yeah so in Italy, they have something called, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but peach, the pizza chien or chien. It's spelled like dog in French. So C-H-I-E-N. Okay. It, it's what they have to break the Lent fast when they've given up usually meats, eggs, or dairy over the course of the previous 40 days. And they have this stuffed pie and they call it pizza, but it's not pizza. It's a stuffed pie at the end of the day. And it's filled with cheeses, cured meats, and hard boiled eggs inside of it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've got no interest in that either, but that's the eggs for Two out of three ain't bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, in Poland, things get a little weird. Uh, they do... Okay, because Italy's not weird. Let's go to Poland for the weird. No, okay. no, Poland, they, they, they're they into sculpting, John. They've got their butter lamb. And what it is, is a huge chunk of butter molded to look like a lamb. It's got a red ribbon around its neck, which symbolizes the blood of God, and peppercorns for eyes, which symbolizes peppercorns for eyes. Yes, of course. So, <laughs> that's what they've got going on <laughs> in Poland. <laughs> uh, I'm not at the worst yet because in Greece, they've got pastas. And pastas, spelled like pastas, is a traditional soup made with tripe, a.k.a. lamb's stomach. And it's allegedly the perfect cure for a hangover because anything that's weird is always a perfect cure for a hangover or it makes you strong, men. You know what I'm talking about. Um but in the earlier days of Greece, they actually ate a similar soup made with veal hooves and stomach, but not for any sort of religious reasons, but it was an easy source of just a whole lot of calories when a whole lot of calories was a little bit harder to come by back then. As opposed to now when a whole lot of calories is really, really easy to come by. You don't have to travel yeah. very far for that. <laughs> oh, I'm fascinated that the Greek do that because it, it sounds very similar to haggis. It does sound similar to haggis, except yeah. it's not like a, it's not a stuffed that it's a soup it's so okay yeah made with the made with the stomach but the last one i want to get to i want to tell you about colombia so oh. they like us they gather with a family my and... listeners in colombia here on btr excellent well colombians yeah. you know what i'm talking about you like to gather with your family around a large roasted piece of meat to celebrate the holiday and that big piece of meat is a capybara which is the world's largest rodent roughly the size of a pig Ew. Yeah, I bet you thought the biggest rodents occupied lawyers' offices are our government, but you would be wrong. They're in Colombia. And uh, they also like to feast on other indigenous animals in the area, like green iguanas and slider turtles. So, Calabunga, dude, is what we're doing on Easter. <laughs> it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Easter with Chris Father Gil Brown, his YouTube channel, uh, which what do you post three four videos a week something like that yeah i try to get through three to four a week there's a little bit of crossover sometimes but by and large uh completely unique content the channel is worth a subscribe which of course is free uh but the subscribe gets you all the latest content notifications on your phone youtube.com slash that's rank